quick question, how many of you are familiar with Google Hangouts? Marvellous, how many of you have actually uh, set up one for your own students? Okay, that's good. Um, so, quick background about myself, I come from a broadcast background, originally worked for BBC Radio, moved into the Open University to work in public engagement across their multiple platforms, so YouTube, iTunes U mainly, Future Learn in the last year or so. Um, and I was asked to work on MOOCs, so I'm gathering, guessing most of you are familiar with MOOCs and have worked on MOOCs, yeah? Okay. Um, so what we decided to do for our second MOOC, which was uh, on Moons, was run a few Google Hangouts to try and sort of engage the students in a live environment. So this presentation is just going to briefly run through that, okay? So this was in March 2014 that we, uh, we ran the first presentation of the Moons MOOC on FutureLearn. So we ran three Google Hangouts on air, the MOOC was over eight weeks. The toasters, I'm going to get onto that in a moment. But first, the big question, how can we engage students in exciting new, new ways? This is part of my role, this is what I'm trying to do in terms of make, make an exciting learning experience. So by thinking about, again, applying my, my broadcast thinking here, how can we make learning more interactive, responsive to what's happening, what's going on in the news? This, is, this was about moons, about planetary science. Is there anything that we can talk about to make it relevant and responsive? And we decided to make that part of the hangout. So it wasn't just a Q&A about the moons, moons itself, the moons moot. It was about what was happening in, in planetary science. And most importantly, we wanted to make it a fun experience for the people that were joining us live. So what are Hangouts briefly? Obviously you, you're familiar with this. It's a form of live webcast. You can reach audiences all over the world. Learners can, can consolidate their learning, so what they've been learning the previous two weeks on the MOOC. We form part of a Q&A. We invite them to send in questions in advance on the <coughs> forum. You know, the most liked questions we use um, on the Hangouts. And also they can send questions in live, which quite a lot of people did through Twitter and through Google Plus chat as well. Okay, so we had, yeah, we had people sending in via chat, but we also wanted to make it a bit more open for those that hadn't joined via Google and were watching it live on YouTube as well. So just in numbers, eight week moot, we did three live hangouts. We had two presenters. Um, we had four, into the, the two presenters were a postdoc student and um, the professor who was the educator on the MOOC, which was Dave Rothery. And we had four experts join us, uh, one each hangout from the Lunar Planetary Institute in Houston, so for that reason, we had to run it at 7 p.m. in the evening because of the time difference. But people really loved having these international experts. And it sort of just generated that excitement a little bit more, you know, that we were going to have experts from Houston joining us. But the most interesting thing was that we had 372 references to toasters. So what is that all about? <laughs> Basically, it came from a question on the forum asking whether an orbiting object the size of a moon, the size of a toaster, could qualify as a moon. Um, and this just got everybody's attention sort of going and um, we put it to one of the experts as well. Um, it became a running gag during the hangouts as the, as the guests were quizzed here. <coughs> this is what it, what it looks like. The quality was pretty good actually. We were quite impressed with that. Um, so these are screenshots from the hangout. There's Dave Rothery getting all excited about his toasters. We have them in the studio, not only on week one, but on week two as well. And everybody's like, yay, toasters! And basically they started tweeting about it. The chat became a little bit obsessed with the toasters. Um, so this is the first <coughs> one here. This is Simon Kelly, who presented the second one. Um, the Joe, who was the postdoc student, okay? You can see here the questions that were sent in. When I clicked on those, they were annotated so that it meant anybody who'd missed it could watch on YouTube um, later on and click on those questions. Found a life on Twitter, there's David Kelly with his toasters. So here we go, carried on on Twitter. So why all the buzz? Brand awareness, getting your academic presence out there, allowing the personalities to emerge. We had fun with the visual props. We were able to talk about breaking news for the discovery of moon moons around Saturn around that time. Um, we were able to share research footage, as we did there. Um, catch up on YouTube, here's some learner feedback, great to take part in such a large seminar, um, makes learning more fun, and this is the way forward for future remote education. And that's me.
If I'd had more time, I would have shown you the trailer where you actually see what we did. Um, but the trailer, if you Google Moon's MOOC trailer, it'll come up, and it's just two minutes, which just gives you an overview of the experience. <laughs>